game of basketball was introduced to me. I know exactly how you feel, man. <laughs> I know that feeling. Game of basketball <laughs> for the first time, five on five as yeah. a coach. This is what we doing. I know that feeling. We running sprints. Yeah. Get on the line. Yeah. Katie, where was that for you in Maryland? That was C Pleasant Activity Center. And you can remember that day yeah. like it was yesterday. Yeah. You step into the gym and you just, it's this euphoric feeling. Right. It's like, <laughs> you're like, what is this? Yeah, so many kids what? just running around and then you just see the basketball. What the like, fuck? You know, them two you know, niggas really doing in the Uber together, dog. You know what I'm saying? Love at first sight. You really felt that as a kid. Oh, and that's man. what you need to feel at an early age. Yeah. You need to have those emotions. I mean, it's, it's, we're kind of lucky that we got to feel that as an early age. Y'all should be hanging on each other, bro. about the entire experience? Bro, I always think Katie about when I was a kid you in the fucking finals, watching bro, and y'all the inspirational the guys bro. that I wanted to this be is like. Rival. That's playing supposed to be your rival, bro. It's like the That's love comes the back one again. That working it's 24 on guys every single day, bro. To be one of the 24 what the fuck guys. What are you doing? Stop you know, being us, stupid. Be the tops. And look at this bitch. We be the best, too. We be the best, too. Look, look. That really, it means a lot. 14 times for you, 9 times for you. They just talking shit. The game. The game. Out of the best players. They're, the it, they're just the talking shit. Look at, look at the, look at the snake. Like, That's the king. Look, 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 look. Back she she look like she got a crush on them, too. You feel like you can die at that moment. You know what I mean? That's the inspiration we've been yeah. talking about. It means a lot. That Sunday night means a lot. I was under the impression people take it for granted because, you know, everyone Shut criticizes. Shut the fuck up, KD. You just talking shit. We do got to do a better job on Sunday. No, I can stand that snake, man. I feel as though we can definitely take it to the next level if... We just knuckle up and play. Because yeah, everybody's yeah. just going to follow our lead. It's our obligation to go out and try to kill each other on the basketball floor, on the floor. That's 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 our obligation. It's like waking up and brushing yeah. your teeth in the morning. You don't even think about <laughs> it. Yeah, you don't even think about it. That's <laughs> our, that is our job. That is our job. We Nigga, that's fans. not we your job. That's, that's not your damn job. Your job is to worry about the fucking finals By the time this you year. School, You're supposed to win it because Katie beat Katie your ass well. last time. So You're supposed to, is, your job is court, to get the new calf straight and get to, like? I mean, to this finals you know, and win it against KD, bro. That's your job. That's what you should be worrying about, Brian. Damn. For you to save the whole city. And you don't feel it as much in the beginning. But as the years go on and on and you start to feel, you know, the pressure and, and how many people are, are riding on you to, uh, to succeed, not only for you and your family, but for, for everyone, you definitely can feel that. Just truth of the matter, in your neighborhood, people don't like greatness. They envy it. Yeah. And that's the pressure you feel, you know, because you want to prove them wrong so bad. But at the end of the day, you're really just trying to prove yourself right. So when you start to think about, you know, the pressure and the hate and all of that stuff, it just adds on and it distracts you from where you're trying to go. Yeah, but I knew I had to keep pushing. So every time I hit a milestone, it wasn't a celebration. It was just like, yeah. let's keep going. It's another step you know in the what journey. Because they waiting going. on us to fall off. Right. You know what I'm saying? So No, it's the whole notion of like, when you grow up in a in an African-American community, it's like everyone is so happy when we all on the same level. Exactly. And as soon as you able to become a little successful with anything in life, even as a kid, even as a 14 year old, 15 year old, People envy that. Can I say something? It's really interesting to watch you to mature and change over the years, but it's a part of the process. Yeah, for sure. You know, you hear the saying like, you changed. Yeah. Like, you damn right I changed. <laughs> to, yeah. I, I, of course I changed. I'm trying to better myself. Why haven't you changed? And that's the things that you have to deal with even as a kid growing up playing ball. You, you, you look back and you even go like Muhammad Ali and, and the things that he had to go through. They basically told him, you're the heavyweight champion have your, your look at her face. No, she look like she got a mean ass crush on them too. 